All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, I'm finally back. I have my computer here. It arrived from Greece all the way here to Dubai. And it cost me an arm and a leg, quite literally a leg. I broke that while I was away. So, or did I break it when I was fighting in the UFC? All I'm saying is you've never seen Conor McGregor and me in the same room, but hey, it's up to you guys to speculate. But yeah, I've got my computer. I'm back. Bitcoin isn't back, sadly. Things aren't looking great. We've got to be honest here. We've got to be honest with ourselves. Bitcoin is not looking very good recently. And that's what we're talking about today. Obviously, Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency market. And I want to talk about how long this cryptocurrency bear market could last, what we're in for, what we're looking at, all of that sort of good stuff. So if you like that sort of thing, smash up that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get straight to this video. So first of all, let's jump over to the charts. And we can see here that 40 to $30,000 range is still holding, but it's very, very critical that we hold this $30,000 mark. Things are you know, the way the chart looks right now is just completely different to anything we've seen before, apart from possibly the 2013 bull run where we saw two peaks, right? We saw a little peak, a downward turn for a few months. I think it was about six to nine months. We saw sideways action and then we saw another peak. That could be what's playing out right now. This is a completely different chart to what we saw here in 2017. You know, we saw it go up wildly and then crash down pretty wildly. But what happened here is we did go up quite wildly. You know, the last all time high was here, 19,000. So that is quite a fierce move upwards. But the move downwards was violent, but now we're staying sideways. So it's really hard to tell where we're gonna be going from now. Like always, I am fully bullish on the cryptocurrency market as a whole. But as we look right now, we are in a bear trend. There is no arguing that. We are below all of the daily moving averages. We currently just closed again below the weekly moving averages that we were looking at. And things are just not looking so great for the short term of Bitcoin. So now is the time to decide where you are in your mind frame. Can you sustain, let's say, another close to 50% drop from here? I personally can't see Bitcoin going lower than 19K. That was the previous all-time high, right? But if we see here the last all-time high right there, $19,000. I don't personally see us dropping below that. However, we really don't know what's going to happen. We do have institutional buys, which in my opinion will keep us above around that mark. I even think that breaking through the $30,000 mark will be hard, but that will be a significant break. If we close a daily candle, below $30,000, we are going to see some real turbulent times ahead of us. But anyway, you can see here, this was the all time high in 2018. You see right there, 19,000. And as you see this line, this is the last all time high before this new to all time high. So we hit that back in 2013, right? All time high, boom. We broke through that again in 2017. That is the next time that we broke that level and we never ever touched it again, right? So if we can use that, the, the idea of history rhyming, we won't break through this $19,000 mark, but we really don't know, right? We really don't know what's gonna happen. I know maybe my tone seems like it's changed a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I haven't sold my Bitcoin. I haven't sold my long-term holds. I'm still holding them but I haven't bought anything recently. I will be buying, I will be dollar cost averaging into the market for the next foreseeable future, right? So one thing that I do like to talk about is that dollar cost averaging idea. And I love to look into what would have happened if we had of been dollar cost averaging at the last bull run, right? So we've talked about weekly and monthly. Today, I wanna talk about daily. And this is what I'm gonna start to do actually right now in this video. But Looking at this chart that I've made here, so this is a stable daily Bitcoin investment, right? Every single day investing $10 since the last bull run in 2017. So $10 from December 17th, back when the price was 10,000, we went all the way up to 19,000 on that month. And then we started our slow descent and then back to where we are right now. So $10 every day, you would have spent 
$13,000 over the course of about four years it would have been. So you would have 1.5 Bitcoin. You would now have a profit of $18,000, 140% profit. Bitcoin's value at $31,000, $18,000 profit from a $10 daily investment. So $70 a week or $280 per month you would be sitting at $18,000 profit. Now, that may sound like a lot to you. It may sound like a little bit to you. It all depends on where you are financially, but that sounds pretty appealing to me. So obviously, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, but this is something that you could potentially look into. Now, if you want access to these sorts of sheets, you can get them over on my Patreon. All of the members over there get access to my dollar cost averaging sheets and I'm building more each and every day. So if you fancy it, come over and join. The link is down there in the description. As you can see, $18,000 profit right where we are now at 50% lower than the all time high. Over at 60,000, you would have made $80,000 profit. Isn't that absolutely incredible? 1.5 Bitcoin would have been worth $92,000 and you would be in profit by over 600% at the all time high. Now it totally depends on what your plan is with Bitcoin. If you intend to sell at highs, that's the kind of money you could be looking at. For me, I'm holding and accumulating. Yes, I do sell sometimes. I did sell some of my holdings when we saw this drop start to happen. That way I have money on the side so I can buy more. Again, if you wanna stay up to date when I make those sorts of trades, then over on the Patreon, but no pressure. Anyway, moving on to what this video is. Sorry, this intro took ages. What I wanna talk about is if this is a crypto bear market, how long can it last? So is a bullish reversal incoming or is crypto starting a new three, four year bear market like we saw back in 2017, 2018? Now, it really is up in the air what's happening right now. You know, in the last three months, Bitcoin's peak was just shy of $65,000. Now we are trading, like I said, between the thirty dollars and $40,000 mark, a 54% lower price than the peak. So the downturn came when people were predicting a $100,000 Bitcoin. Now this is something that you can watch out for if we do get another bull run, when everyone is crazy bullish, when Elon Musk is on SNL, pumping up Dogecoin when things like SafeMoon, we speak about this on the channel, are pumping like crazy 100x in a few days. That's when you know we could potentially be seeing the top of a market. Now, I've been speaking about this on the channel for so long. I got so much hate talking about taking profits from these hype coins like SafeMoon, like Elongate, like these coins that have come into the market that are new. You need to take profit when you see them. That is so important because they are the ones that get affected so much more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down 54%. Some of these hype coins are down 90%, right? 95%, even close to 100%. So that's what you got to keep your eye out for. Obviously, there's still loads of money to be made in these hype coins, but getting in and getting out at the right time is key. Yes, I still hold a lot of those hype coins. A very small percentage is left that I hold for the long run because I see a future for them. But hey, if it goes to nothing, I'm completely safe at this point. That's something that I really wanna make sure that if you're new to the market that you understand because it's easy to believe that things only go up when you get into a market when things are only going up. But right now, things are scary. And right now is the time that I would be considering accumulating coins that you believe in for long run. So we've got a lot of bullish metrics going on. What's happening right here, what this, uh, what this article is talking about is basically the exchange's position in Bitcoin. So the lower the exchange's position, the more bullish the on-chain data looks like. What that's saying is basically people are going onto exchanges, they're buying Bitcoin and they're taking it off the exchanges and putting it into things like cold storage. So they're taking it off and they don't have an intention to sell it anytime soon. So when we see these exchanges losing position in Bitcoin, it is a good sign for Bitcoin, you can see massive amounts of selling pressure here. So the amount of Bitcoin on the exchanges goes up then the selling pressure, you see it intensifies and the price goes down. Now we are seeing the opposite. So hopefully this could indicate that we are at the bottom of this bear market, but 
very, very hard to tell where we are right now. So we have Richard Nye, the Chief Research Analyst for Bing Bong, Bing Bond, at Bing Bond. He concurred that metrics indicate a bullish shift. We ought to pay attention to the number of whale holders and the amount of Bitcoin held by exchanges. So like I said, when that goes down, it is a bullish indicator for Bitcoin. Now, this part of the article is basically explaining how this downturn in the cryptocurrency market hasn't really affected larger uh, cryptocurrency based companies. You know, this stablecoin issuer Circle still managed to raise $440 million. And then just days later, a crypto asset group announced the launching of a crypto investment fund worth $100 million. So there are big firms and big money still backing Bitcoin. Things are still looking bullish to them. So us as the retail investors, do we know better than them? I don't know. I don't think I do. But so far, if you had have bought Bitcoin at any point before 2020, you would be currently in profit, right? At any point, at any point, right at the peak of the last bull run, if you had have bought Bitcoin, you would still be in profit, a lot of profit right now. So the main fear and the main decider of how much time we spend in this bear market is probably going to come from the regulator. So we've seen this massively in China, the Bitcoin mining ban, you know, China bans Bitcoin every single time there's a bull market. I guarantee that next time we start going up, all of this stuff that China has banned is going to turn around or it's going to change. We're going to see Chinese companies come back into the world of crypto. That's what I think. I just think that this is just more FUD. Now, I don't quite know why they're doing it, but it's just FUD. Fear, uncertainty and doubt. And I think for sure they will be back when they realize that it's a mistake or they have ulterior motives the whole time. But this regulation is what people are so scared about right now. In the UK, we have banks banning deposits and withdrawals from from exchanges like Binance, which is very worrying. You know, it's very worrying. I love Binance as one of my favorite exchanges. But because of this, people are getting scared. They're getting rid of their Bitcoin. I have friends who have been holding it for ages. They aren't really interested in Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of that sort of stuff, but they held it from 2017 and they just held it. They saw some great profits. They then saw those profits get cut in half. And now, Banks decided to ban deposits and withdrawals. You know what? Put my hands up and I'm selling my Bitcoin. That's what they did, you know? So that's what's happening. People are getting scared because of the regulation. There's no way to know whether or not regulation is going to continually, is going to continue to affect Bitcoin, is going to continue to come out. Are they going to allow us to have our Bitcoin in the long run? Or is it going to be a case where the government outright bans Bitcoin or crypto? That is a possibility. But we see things like in Nigeria where they banned Bitcoin and on the black market, Bitcoin is worth a lot more. But then obviously it becomes, you know, a criminal thing, which is hopefully not what's going to happen. And I really don't think that is what's going to happen. But we really never know what's going to happen in this space. So what I would say to you guys is be aware that things can come out of the blue don't have too much money invested in the cryptocurrency world. And in my personal opinion, the length of this bear market is so hard to actually decide from this point, right? It's very hard to tell where we are, but Bitcoin is showing signs of weakness. So I think that it is quite likely that we could drop into this next zone here, the twenty dollars to $30,000 range. I do think that that is a possibility that could come in the next few weeks. So be prepared for that. Are you okay with seeing your money go down 50%, let's say, in the next few months, but then to come back up later? Can you handle that? If not, maybe sell off some of your positions and buy back lower. But remember, if you do that, you could potentially miss out on what's to come. We could potentially start to rise at any moment. For me personally, I have my money on the side. I will be dollar cost averaging like we've spoken about earlier. And that is what I'll be doing from here on out. If that changes, I will tell you guys if I decide to sell out, if something fundamentally changes in the world of crypto or Bitcoin, which I highly doubt, then there is a potential that I could be selling my positions. But right now, I'm holding, I'm dollar cost averaging, and I'm just hoping that we get some good news coming into the world of crypto. I've got my fingers crossed. So maybe the octopus will be the decider today. As you can see, he's not very happy. I don't know if you can see, but octopus, not happy today. Bitcoin's not looking too hot. 
Hopefully we can hold this $30,000 mark. Hopefully I didn't ramble on for too long in this video. If you did like it, if you like this sort of video, do consider smashing that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoosh.